Welcome to the June Movie Previews. My name is Paul, this is Adam. And sure, there are a number of indie films coming out, like Beginners, Submarine, and Love Wedding Marriage, but... Never mind that shit. Here comes X-Men First Class. Just when you figured out which one Iceman is, the X-Men return for the first time in a prequel to the 1999 film that started the current superhero wave in X-Men First Class. A title which doesn't actually refer to their airline seating preference, but rather it tells the story of how the X-Men began in the first place, surprisingly growing out of an Amway seminar. You hear prequel, and probably think to yourself, yeah, this movie's gonna rank right up there with Dumb and Dumberer, or Van Wilder, Freshman Year. But uh, here's our movie guy's prediction. Unless there's a mutant in here who has the prequel powers of Jar Jar Binks, we're expecting this film to take its rightful place alongside Batman Begins. Admittedly, a better title would have been X-Men Origins, Everyone But Wolverine, but that title was found to be a bit lengthy. As with the recent Star Trek and upcoming Ghostbusters we hope to never see, here's another series that's getting younger as it goes along. Set some 30 to 40 years before the events of the first X-Men movie, Professor X has been recast, with fanboy casting wet dream Patrick Stewart being replaced with fanboy casting wet dream James McAvoy. He's joined by the completely excellent Michael Fassbender, who takes the baton from Ian McKellen to play Magneto, the master of changing soft ease to hard ease in the word magnet. This time Xavier's ragtag fledgling team consists of Havoc, Banshee, Mystique, Beast, Ragtag, Fledgling, Prequel, and Reboot. Because the cast is otherwise brimming with Britishness, uh, America's favorite aggressive schlub, Oliver Platt, has been cast. Presumably as someone who's in charge of Fluster. The Bacon Brothers Band's most attractive guitarist, Kevin Bacon, also stars as a mutant who's able to connect himself to Dolly Parton through Tom Hanks and Dabney Coleman in only four moves. And as far as we can tell from the trailer... It shall be the policy of this nation to regard any nuclear missile launched from Cuba as an attack. The film is narrated by John F. Kennedy. But leave the purse snatchings to Spider-Man. The X-Men always come strong and play big, and their first adventure is no exception, as the X-Men try to stop the Cuban motherfucking missile fucking crisis. Uh, hello, greatest idea ever of the day. I think so. And if you don't think that's a good idea, and you don't think that idea kicks ass, and that this movie will kick ass, if for no other reason than it's directed by the director of Kick-Ass, well, then I know whose side you're on, commie. 